Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at five subcompact 9mm handguns. These manufacturers are able to produce magazines that carry 10 plus rounds and a lot of people really enjoy the additional capacity. We're going to do an overview as well as some comparisons. Here we've got the Springfield Armory Hellcat, the SIG P365, Taurus GX4, Ruger Max 9, and the M&P Shield Plus. We'll start in which the order they were released and that is the P365, so let's get to it. In January of 2018, 6 Hour released the P365. People fell in love with it. They loved the capacity. They designed the gun around the magazine, which held 10 rounds with a flat base plate. They've expanded that to a 12 round mag and 15 round mags are available. They kept it subcompact with a 3.1 inch barrel and a very lightweight subcompact 9mm handgun that many people carry. It has front serrations, a pick rail for SIG accessories, and three dot day night sights that SIG calls X-Ray 3. That is a nice touch with an MSRP of $499. Very nice grip texturing, comfortable gun to carry. This has a X-Trigger here. They go for about 50 bucks. Many of the models come with the X trigger, most come with a rounded trigger. That's certainly a preference thing. I am measuring the trigger weight right at five and a quarter pounds with the reset right there. They had some problems initially, but SIG cleared them up rather quickly and people are carrying this with confidence. They're trusting their lives with it. In my Limpris test, the 6R P365 passed with flying colors no problem so whatever initial problems that they had sig did a great job and that was a while ago people love this gun they love the p365 the weight the size the accuracy it, it all just measures up to one fine ccw gun and sig led the way and i, I stand by that with making a real subcompact very nice nine millimeter pistol in September of 2019, Springfield Armory released the Hellcat, and many people fell in love with it. They took the same subcompact handgun and produced magazines of double stack that carry 11 and 13 rounds, which is the most of any handgun in the industry of this size. They now make 15 round mags, so they've been expanding with that, but they came out with two models. This is a standard Hellcat with serrations that go throughout the slide it also has front serrations but they have an osp model optical sight pistol that has a slide cut to fit a red dot and they also came out with flat dark earth so they've been expanding the hellcat line much like sig has expanded the p365 line but they came out with a great pistol they have adapted adaptive grip texturing feels great i like the 13 round mag for three finger contact does have a tritium front dot a U in the rear, and a very nice soft shooting pistol. The trigger I'm measuring right at five pounds. It's a nice trigger with a very short reset. Right there. MSRP for the standard Hellcat, 569. And then, of course, a little bit more, 599 with the OSP model. But I've got a lot of rounds through this. It's performed great. I really do enjoy it. It passed the Limpress test as well. There's no problem with the Hellcat. I haven't had any issues whatsoever with this handgun since I've owned it. It does have a rail there. Breaks down nice and easy. And the sights align really well. Springfield Armory, they hit it out of the park with the Hellcat. They've been expanding the line. And many people love this as well they're calling this for carry gun and they're protecting their lives with confidence using the hellcat we knew that ruger would get in on this one and they did with the ruger max 9 they did a very nice job it was released in late spring of 2021 it ships with a 12 and a 10 round mag for those who want the shortest configuration i like the 12 round mag for three finger contact but when you grip this it, it just has that ruger feel has the Ruger reliability and many Ruger fans out there excited with the Max 9. Very thin and lightweight. It is optic ready with a slide cut to fit 14 different red dots. So if you want a red dot, the Ruger Max 9s have that. This one does not have the thumb safety, but they also offer a thumb safety model. Serrated black rear sights and a tritium 
front dot that is a night sight as well, MSRP 499. They did a very nice job with the Max 9. Front serrations as well. And a trigger that I'm measuring at five pounds, it does have a trigger bar safety in there, but a five pound trigger with a reset right there for the follow-up shots. I've enjoyed the Max 9 since I've owned it. It's been a great gun. It also passed the limp wrist test, which, which I use for measuring reliability. And some guns pass it, some guns don't, and the Ruger Max 9 did. It's a good looking gun. It is optic ready out of the gate. No special orders there. It's very thin. It's very lightweight. It feels and acts like a Ruger, which is exactly what we want. And we have it all right here with the Ruger Max 9. Here we have the MMP Shield Plus. This was released the same day as the Ruger Max 9. They have the 2.0 grip texturing right there. It feels good. It's a little more heavier textured than the original. 13 and 10 round mags are available with this and a 3.1 inch barrel. All right, does have the three dot metal sights, but what they changed most outside of the capacity is the trigger. I'm measuring it right at five and a quarter pounds. It does have a trigger bar safety. That shifts away from the hinged trigger that many of the M&P owners currently own with a hinged trigger. This is a flat face trigger, five and a quarter pounds right there, and the reset is right there you're looking at 553 msrp for this now they also have a performance center model with a four inch barrel it has fiber optic sights on there it also is cut to fit an optic this is just your standard shield plus right here probably the lowest grade model that you can get it also comes with a thumb safety the Shield Plus did not pass the limp wrist test. When I when I took this to the range, it, it hung up several times. It well, that was could be that it's a new gun. It could be that it's not broken in yet. But for some reason, it did not pass the limp wrist <laughs> test. But it did shoot accurately. I can say that. I, I shot this very straight. It, it felt just like and a shield with more capacity, which is what I think stuck. Smith & Wesson wanted to achieve. Just last May 2021, Taurus released the GX4. They made it much smaller and lighter than the very popular G2C, G3C that, that so many people love. They made this lighter, smaller, and have mags that carry 11 rounds. Comes with two mags, an additional back strap for larger hands, and an MSRP of 392. So it looks to me to be amongst the smallest of the group and the least expensive. It does have a three inch barrel front serrations, a pinned in front dot, adjustable rear sights, as well as a sight hole indicator right there. They stepped away from the G2C, G3C trigger and they added a flat trigger breaking right at five and a quarter pounds. It does use a trigger bar safety in there, but you're looking at a reset right there. So they priced it right. They sized it right. Uh, 13 round mags are available on their site. They already have additional accessories on their site for the GX4. And it also passed the limp wrist test. It did, it passed the limp wrist test, no problem. You know, it measures reliability and right out of the gate, the GX4 passed. So Taurus fans out there, certainly happy to, to see the GX4 enter the double stack subcompact 9mm handgun, smaller than their popular other models. They, they did it with the GX4 and a lot of people are certainly enjoying this pistol. Let's go ahead and weigh each of these handguns with 12 rounds. Now you can see right there, 12 rounds weighs 4 and 7 8 ounces approximately five ounces with the ammo alone. The P365 weighing in at 23 and 7 8 ounces. Springfield Armory Hellcat with 12 rounds, 23 and 3 8 ounces, so a little bit lighter. Let's go with the Ruger Max 9, 23 and 3 quarters ounces. This is why a lot of people are carrying these guns. Here we have the Shield Plus. 25 and 7 8 ounces, so that'll be the heaviest. The GX4 weighing in at 23 and 3 quarters ounces. So right around 23 ounces, the Shield Plus is a bit heavier. The Shield Plus is also 
the largest handgun. So if we take the Shield Plus and we look at the P365, we can see that it is much larger. The P365 pretty much is, is the average, I would say, amongst all these. You know, you look at 3-inch, 3.1-inch barrel, they're, they're very, very similar in size and weight across the board. Even the GX4, if we look at the GX4 here, all right, we'll see the size and weight. I, I said earlier that this is probably the smallest. It certainly feels the smallest. It may be because it has an 11 round magazine without an extension there, but we can look at the, the Ruger Max 9 and the SIG P365. We're looking at not a great difference in slide length or grip length right there, both with 12 round magazines currently inserted. So we're looking at, you know, price differences. We're looking at size and weight differences. We're looking at range experience differences. You know, they, they all perform really well, some better than, better than others. I'm going to go ahead and give you what I think. First off, I will mention you cannot do wrong or make a bad choice with any of these models. Each have been proven in their own way, as well as they could for, for many new releases. But the one that I feel most comfortable with is right here, the Springfield Armory Hellcat. I just find this gun fits me. It fits my personality. It fits my shooting style. It, it carries well. It's lightweight. It's been reliable. It's fired everything that I've run through it, and it's been a phenomenal handgun, and I've I just, I think it's great. My, my second choice, I, I have to go right here with the Ruger Max 9. To make an optic ready model out of the gate with an MSRP of 499 12 and 10 round mags, tritium front dot. I'm going to actually give that a tie with the SIG P365. I think either of these would be a great choice for anybody. So that's going to be my second place. <laughs> I know, hey, you're, you're, opinions may vary i i love the gx4 i think what taurus did and the changes they made compared to their other handguns were all positive you got the flat trigger there you get one of those 13 round mags you, you have more capacity it's a great feeling gun shoots really nice and then you know for these being subcompact this one just isn't as much it's a great gun the shield is a proven platform. They didn't create a new pistol. They took a, a familiar pistol, a common pistol from back in 2012 and made higher capacity. Is that a good thing? Absolutely. You know, it does share the same holster size. However, this one just doesn't excite me as, as much as these do. That's just my thoughts, guys. I know everybody's going to have a different opinion, and I would love to know yours. I certainly hope you enjoyed this video. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.